Hi there, I got four or five emails right away about, hey, how do we add quick invite our kids to uh, Google Classroom? I would wait until Wednesday night to do that just because I know guidance is still working out schedules, so you may end up having some inaccurate lists that may be shifting. So if I were in your shoes based on what I'm hearing, you might wanna to wait till Wednesday night. But I'm gonna go over how to do that Real quick, uh, you're taking a look at my screen right now. You're looking at my Google Classroom. What you want to have is one of two particular windows open. One of them is Google Classroom, and the other one is PowerSchool. And you log into PowerSchool just like you normally would. And then what's going to happen is you're going to go over to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and load my AP English uh, classwork, at least show you how that works. So I'm going to go to AP Lang and Comp, which is one of my classes. I'm going to go to where it says People, and if People Open. So that's one of the things I'm going to have open. And then I'm going to go over to PowerSchool, and I'm going to find that AP Lang and Comp in PowerSchool. And look over here on the right side, I hope you can see it, is a little, it looks like a little envelope. So I click on that, and that's going to pop open this student email list. And you get this as a nifty little paragraph. So I'm just going to go ahead and select it all. If I triple click it all, you know, click, 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 triple click, that should select them all. You can right click on a PC and click copy. If you're on a Mac, you're going to hit Command C. If you're on a PC with a single mouse, you're in a weird place because they all have two um, two buttons. Anyway, so we're going to go over to English Lang and Composition, or this is the class I want to send it to, and I'm going to go to where it says Invite Students right here. I hope you can see it, Invite Students. I click that up, and I'm going to click Paste. That's all I have to do. They paste in here, and it comes in as a long list divided by semicolons. I click this Add Recipients right here, and boom, there it is, my entire class. If I click Invite, it's going to auto-populate it. That's all you have to do. I'm not going to take that last step because I'm going to wait 24 more hours um, until I give uh, my colleagues down in guidance a chance to kind of settle in their schedules a little bit because they're still making changes for us. Um, and if you see a counselor, give them a hug because they're having quite a time. But don't don't forget to socially distance. Anyway, so virtual hugs. And in the meantime, I hope that helps. That's how you populate your uh, your school, um, your classrooms with uh, the information out of PowerSchool. Thanks for watching.